Hey, happy Monday. Welcome back to Larry's and Anything Goes. Hope you guys are having a great, exceptional day. Leaves the last week of April. So, hey, you know, fourth month of the year, fourth month out of the year is already over with. So, it is what it is. I had a great weekend. Finally got to see Corey Holcomb. Got to see um, Lil Duval. Got to see uh, D. Ray Davis. And um, a lot of other great comedians. Nothing like getting your laugh on and just enjoying yourself and enjoying life. And I think that's one thing... Um, just like the last two years, I just did a lot of things that I've never done before and outside of working hard because, you know, my my uh, my prayers go out to Jamie Foxx and his family. I know that he's been, um, you know, they said he had a stroke. Um, allegedly, I'm not going to get into specifics because I don't know all the specifics and I don't like to put out false information. But, um, you know, I know he's a lot of people that even have a lot of money. They still become workhorses. They don't they don't um, and not just talking about Jamie Foxx, but that's just this is just using it as an example. But, um, you know, he's put he was in a position um, where he's working a lot of hours and he doesn't get enough. People don't get enough rest. And then a lot, it will catch up with you. They always say, you know, drinking alcohol, doing drugs, um, smoking cigarettes, um, overly eating junk food. Everything catches up with you, you know, so you have to try to be and, and working too much can catch up with you. That's why you're supposed to be the workhorse in your 20s and 30s, and you're supposed to become more of a mental workhorse in your um, 40s and, and until the day you die and whatnot. And then hopefully you've made, that's why I said the, the best money move you can make is not just making money, but saving it and investing it, specifically investing it because you're not, they always say, you're not rich unless your money's working for you, period. The high, highest salaries on the planet mean nothing if your money's not working for you. So, um, and, and then, like I always say, the freaking pandemic taught me to appreciate life more. A lot, you know, a lot of people experience a lot of death, sicknesses, not just, just relating to, you know, COVID, but just in general, you know, life happens, unfortunately. And I always say, when you, you know, when you pass away, when you, when you know that this is the end, you're going to say to yourself, um, you want to have those, I wish I would have did this. I wish I would have did that. Whatever you're wishing you could have done that's in, within your power, I say do that's one that if I can leave you with a positive message, but just because that's why I do these word of the days, they don't get many views, they don't get many likes, but I do this because I like to put out positive energy. You know, my shorts get the views, my lives get the views, my other videos that I put more um, time and energy in, they get the views and likes and comments. But I do the word of the day fr Monday through Friday because I want to put out positive energy. There's too much negative nonsense out here. And I know that for the algorithm, it'll boost more when people are cussing, sound like they got a uh, second grade education and cussing each other out and things of that nature or just being entertaining. And there's nothing wrong with that because I love entertainment. I just talked about me going to a comedy show. Shout out to Corey Holcomb, 5150. See, I'm representing his great show that I love to catch every Tuesday when he goes live. So it was. I'm glad I got to see him when he came to my town. But anyways, you know, Enjoy your life. Nothing wrong with relaxation. Nothing wrong with a vacation. There's nothing wrong with a staycation. I remember back in my early 20s, I didn't have money like that. So when I would take the time off from work, I had a staycation. I did not go anywhere except in the house and relaxed and chill. The beauty of a staycation. Okay. And now and I'm older and I can afford it. I have vacations. But I think this year I might even have a, I'm, I'm thinking of having like a four day staycation. It's been so long since I've done that to just kick back and recharge and not worry about anything. So I think that's coming up too. I haven't done that in a long time, a staycation. So I'm not spending a lot of money. I'm just enjoying being in the home that I, that I pay to live in and being around my dogs and, and being around people that matter. So nothing wrong with a staycation either. But anyways, let's get into the word of the day. You know, I'm, that's why, I, that's how you know I had a good weekend. I'm vibing with good energy, good strength. All that great stuff. All right. So today's word of the day is realism. It stands for an inclination towards objective truth and pragmatism. The representation in art or literature of objects, actions, or social conditions as they actually are. And the reason why I chose this word today is because I like when people are real. You know, I like I always say people from um, New York, D.C., probably the realest people on the planet. They're going to be real with you and be straight up with you. Sometimes even quote unquote people from the hood are some of the realest people that you're going to engage with, you know, and I love people that whether I agree with their, their beliefs or not, if you keep it real with me, I'm going to keep it real with you and we're going to move on. And if you agree to at least show me some respect and I will definitely do the same in return. You know, um, that's just one thing I got to take, you know, uh, t definitely say out there and I always take that into consideration when I'm dealing with anybody, but yeah. Um, you know, that, that's just, I like realism and I, and I employ everybody in a respectful and tactful manner. Okay. And show some coof. Be real with people. But you don't have to cuss them out. You ain't got to get loud. You ain't got to raise your voice. You ain't got to get all belligerent and whatnot. But just be real with people. 
You know, the simple no thank you is better than, um, you know, F off. You know what I mean? A simple, hey, how you doing is better than what you doing. You know, like the the, the WYDs that, that men put in females' um, inboxes, you know, it makes me laugh. But apparently, I guess some females respond to that energy because a lot of guys still do that nonsense. You know, the the crazy aspect of, hey, how you doing? You know, how was your weekend? You know, how's your day going? You know, that, that that's becoming a thing of the past and whatnot. So I just find that funny. I always find it interesting when I see guys try to hit on women. Like I saw that at the comedy show, you know, guy, guys chasing around. Any woman that was walking by themselves, they were chasing them around like it was a nightclub. And then even people came to the comedy show like it was a nightclub. I'll leave that. You know, that's another story for another day. Today's quote of the day is by 2 Chains. He says, I encourage everyone to pay attention to the issues that matter to you. From jobs and the economy to educations or schools to criminal justice reform, whatever it whatever it is that you care about, make sure you use your voice. And I agree with that situation because, you know, we're in the political world. I don't care what side you're on. I think both sides are full of it. But in the political world, um, they do a great job of talking about all the issues except for the economic issues. And when I say the economic issues, I'm not just talking about inflation. I'm talking about people getting access to capital and be people becoming more economically sound when they can um, learn how to invest the money so the money can work for them and they're not just working for their money. So they can learn how to get t different tax breaks like rich people do in order for them to not have to pay since, you know, tax season uh, has come and gone, you know, so people don't have to pay so many outrageous, ridiculous taxes back and things of that nature. So, that's when I, you know, I, you know, those are the issues that matter to me. And when it comes to school systems, my mindset is most school systems have become in 2023, uh, very obsolete, not all, but a lot have become very obsolete because they're not teaching children. Um, they're not teaching children the basics of financial literacy. They're not teaching children the basics, even how to get just the one-on-one -on -one aspects of how to get it, go into today's job market. My personal opinion, I'm not an educational expert, but my personal opinion, a student's last two years should be involving not only getting you prepared for college, you know, but it should be preparing you maybe if you want to get a skilled trade. Maybe it should be preparing you for um, and whether the school district does the trade program or, or contracts, the school district can contract with a, a company that, do, that does tradesmen work and things of that nature, um, beautician, um, you know, hair, hair, um, hairdresser or whatever have you, anything that's on a trade level and IT, things of that nature, when the schools partner up with um, corporations or do whatever they have to do in order for, to, to ensure that they are creating a robust workforce, then that puts people in the driver's seat to do that great stuff. And then when it comes to people learning investing, when it comes to people owning their own businesses, that's when they can go to the internet and go from there and find all these great online institutions, things like a Bodlehood University, Wild University, and a uh, Black Business School and things of that nature, or any other school that might be out there. So that's where, that's what makes sense to me. Because when you know how to make a living for yourself, your family teach you, gives you, shows you the ropes in, in order for you to become a great family man or woman. Um, and then if you learn the ropes on how to save money on taxes, how to own your own business, at least the one-on-one -on -one aspects to see if it's for you or not, because it's not for everybody, then that's going to make us a robust society. And when those issues are talked about in front of everything else that's usually talked about, that I, which I like to call a distraction or clutter, like the clutter in one's public storage or the clutter in one's um, um, closet or garage and whatnot, then I think we'll be a better society when it comes to that. But on that note, do the great thing for your things, family. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. And as I always say, make money moves or you're going to live bro like a fool. Take care.